Sticks are polished and the jerseys are pressed. After a weekend of partying in Clinton, nearly ready to embrace its title of Hockeyville USA. But there are still a few last minute touches that need to be done before the puck hits that ice. Marley Tuskis brings us a closer look. Sawing, hammering, and making last minute touch ups to Clinton Arena ahead of tomorrow's big game. It's been unbelievable. It's been nonstop. From the arena staff, they've just been working diligently to get this thing in order. Uh, the LOC, the local organizing committee, they've just worked nonstop. It's a, it's a huge event. It's a huge event for the community and, and for this rink, for this old barn. In April, Clinton was officially crowned Hockeyville USA. And with that title comes $150,000 in upgrades and the chance to host a preseason NHL game happening tomorrow night between the Buffalo Sabres and Columbus Blue Jackets. It's, it's been nonstop. It's been months of these guys, the, the arena staff, just putting this arena together, painting the arena, getting it cleaned up. Um, this, this crew has been here for six to seven days now on site, just working very hard to make sure everything goes smoothly. And just down the road, the area's restaurants and businesses are also seeing the positive impact from having this game here as well. These kids that are working here for the NHL and for Kraft Heinz and stuff, they just, they've been in the community supporting it and the people coming out of the community. The, the bars are full, the, the restaurants are full, the, the merchants are happy and it's just, a, it's just a thriving area right now. As for tomorrow, Milan says he expects it to be a long but rewarding day for both the area and its residents. I'm just really excited about it. You know, I, I started skating this rink at five years old, so this rink is close to my heart. Coached here and, uh, and now being a town supervisor, this is pretty exciting. If I ended my career tomorrow, I'd be the happiest man in the world. <laughs> in Clinton, Marley Tuskis, Eyewitness News.